I want to take it a moment of silence for all the loved ones lost and friends, all celebrities, my auntie Gloria, Dolph, Julio Fulio, uh, Jerry West. I mean, every aspect of entertainment, you seeing somebody pass away or in your life, it's traumatizing. Uh, and you got to stay prayed up. If you don't want to hear me pray or the moment of silence I'm about to do, then skip to about two minutes of the video because I'm about to do a 10 second moment of silence for all those lost. And um, yeah, we're going to do it like that, man. You pray who you want to, whoever your God, Allah, Krishna, whoever your God is. I'm going to pray to mine. 10 seconds. Give 10 seconds of respect for those who've lost their lives and be thankful that you're still here. You ready? Let's go. Hey man, thank you most for, most high for blessing us with all that you have. Thank you for all your love and mercy and strength. Uh, protect whoever is watching this, guide them towards you. Uh, continue to strengthen us to get through the battles of life. We appreciate all you do. We love you and thank you. Without you, we wouldn't have made it this far. In the name of the most high, in the name of the son, I send my prayers. Amen. But this is about Julio Fulio. I ain't gonna keep y'all long, maybe three minutes. Um, I've been following Julio, man, since he was like a little teenager, you know? Me being 37 and shit, and doing the same type of shit that these little dudes used to do. I know it's hard to tell with my calm demeanor now, but I post some old videos. Matter of fact, we didn't have cameras out. Niggas, dudes got their ass beat. You pulled the camera out back in my day. While we fighting, you pull your camera out while we fighting, you fighting next. Um, so we didn't have this social media aspect to deal with at, in my age group. And anybody about seven, five, five years younger than me will confirm this for you. Uh, social media is a whole nother aspect of difficulty. I'm talking to the parents my age and I'm talking to the kids that we didn't have to deal with. Um, constantly, when we were growing up, it was two or three dudes that would shoot you, maybe four killers. Now everybody's a shooter. Everybody's a killer. So if that's the case, what's the point of proving that you're hard, man? What's the point of proving that you're a killer? <laughs> that you bout that bout that life. Because you bout that life, but life ain't bout that. Shout out to my nigga uh, AK-47. Uh, I'm not here to solve the case for y'all. I know that's probably what you wanted to hear. Oh, how he died, you already know that. It's a million blogs bloggers uh, talking about that. I'm talking about what the youth need to focus on. I've been your age before. I know how you feel, all the testosterone throwing, going through your body. You feel like a man more than you ever have. But slow down. Slow down. They've been hanging around some older people, man. Listen to them. Even if they broke, they got experience. Experience is priceless. You can't cheat time. You might have more money than them and everything, but they got more knowledge than you. Even some, you, you can learn from a four-year-old all the way up to a hundred-something-year-old. It don't matter. I learn from everybody. <clears throat> um, RIP, uh, condolences to his family, which I just get tired of saying this <clears throat> constantly with all, with all these deaths. Um Young and Ace, um, I mean, if that happened to him, you saw what happened with Duck and Vaughn. What do you think is going to happen to you next? You think it's going to be all peaches and cream like Gucci, man? Just continue on? Nah, it's hell to pay after that, bro. Repent while you can. I know you're probably saying, fuck that old nigga, cuz. All right. That's cool. You say fuck me, but I'm not the one that uh, made the universe and the rules, bro. I'm just telling you how life go. I've been around longer than you. You could have made the little song or whatever. <clears throat> I don't know if you want to get caught or what, but um, or you feel that the, if you keep teasing the feds like that, they're going to make some evidence on your ass, even if you didn't leave no trail. 
So it's all just an unfortunate situation. I've been watching the war on Jacksonville for a while. Um, seeing 23 get killed, baby, all of them little, little dudes. They, they men, I'm sorry. I know y'all grown men, but I'm, I'm like twice as old as y'all, so I look at you like younger, because I'm, but uh, I just wish the younger generation would just calm down a little bit, man, and focus more on unity, because they are divided like a mug. They have no guidance because they want to go on their own mind frame. Um, <clears throat> you're not going to make it like that. You're not the first people to act like that. First teenagers to act like that. You're not the first young people on earth. You won't be old. You won't be young for long either. I mean, age don't last forever, bro. Being young don't last forever. Even when we was younger, we knew we'd get older. Y'all act like y'all gonna be young forever. Respect your elders. Stop. Stop disrespecting your elders and shit, man. You don't know what they've been through. What? Because you don't have to live in that time. Like, come on, man. Start fighting again. Or just shut the fuck up and sit down somewhere, bro. This shit is irritating. You don't even get no stripes for killing nobody no more because everybody a fucking killer. Everybody got bodies. Everybody a shooter. A nerd is bust your motherfucking head now. Um, this, this situation is unfortunate. I know a lot of people are celebrating it because of the, all the shit that he talking dead people that he dissed and disrespectful thing that he did. But look at... But I saw the generation. I saw how they were being raised. I saw the TV shows that they watched, the games changed, everything got violent. Rap, everything. My generation had a chance. And, and we need to stop condemning them, stop being lazy, and talk to these kids and persuade them. You, They will listen if you give them sugar. If you come at it with, with shit, they ain't going to listen. You attract more flies with honey than shit. Duh. Stop being so prideful of making yourself, oh, well, at least I ain't like these young niggas. At least I, I, I ain't this. You, who do you think they was looking up to, man? Like, and I hear a lot of the, like, 40 and up. I respect them tremendously. That's the generation I grew up around. Really, I hung around older dudes. So even though I'm 30-something now, I got the mind frame of a 40-something-year-old, so... I ain't going to hold y'all up more. I said three minutes, but we closing in on eight now. Uh, if you if you tune in with me to this far, let me know how you feel about the generational gap, uh, all this gun violence with the youth. Um, drill rap. Do you feel drill rap needs to be dead? I don't know. I like the beats and shit, but I don't want to hear about niggas getting killed all the time. It's enough. The world is already trying to kill us. I don't want to hear. It don't impress me to hear hear a nigga who got fourteen bodies, ten, none of that. I grew up with niggas with three, four, five. Been a witness. Never mind. Let me be quiet, frog. <clears throat> I'm not trying to impress y'all. And that ain't nothing impressive to talk about. It's shameful. And you going get closer to God. The further away from God we get, the heart more destruction is coming. Get closer to God, respect your elders, have some morals, principles, standards, and stop fucking putting money before everything, your family and everything. Money ain't shit. I mean, it matters. You need it to survive, but it's not. it shouldn't be your everything. And, 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 and it seems like majority of society, money is their everything. I'm off subject, though, man. Hopefully, somebody in Young and Ace can't watch this. I ain't disrespecting you, little homie. I'm just saying, man. It's hard to it's hard to tell you because I know I know how you feel. I lost homies like that and all that, man. I got I got a list that I can let, name on my hand of homies that I lost, but I never lost a brother like you, so I can't really tell you how to grieve and all that. I just, I'm just telling you what I wish. You can say fuck me if you want. I'm just saying, just try to be a little more positive, man, because you got good.
good influence. And, and I can see that you got a good heart. I can see through the bodies or whatever. I, look. I can see through people's eyes. I see you got a good heart, good head on your shoulders. All right, man. Love y'all. This your boy Vega. Tap in, on tap out. Tune in, on tune out. One of the realest. I know you got to feel this. Jump in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we out like that, baby. Have a good weekend. Outro.